Hello and welcome. Uh, this is a tutorial based research channel um, showing you, or hopefully, hopefully helping you to um, understand this research and start this research yourself. Um, if you are interested, then uh, go and check out the earlier videos. Um, there's lots of um, demonstrations and uh, ongoing research in the videos but I'm not so much doing that anymore um, purely because just we're not getting the views the videos run long anyway there's always so much um, to show you so um, just bear with it if you want to get your head around this sort of stuff then um, stay tuned right okay so today we are going to be having a look at an image that I think I got from I'm quite sure I got from um, uh, Wikipedia information on the where are we it's this is the map we're looking at do excuse my uh, computer it's been struggling this morning as usual uh, this is called a cylindrical map or cylinder map um, and it's of um, Bennu which is a, an asteroid so I've got a bit of information about it. This is the uh, mission logo, the Cyrus Rex. Um, let's have a look. Do if you're new to this, then um, I'll try and give you a little bit of information. Um, the rest of it is up to you to go and um, investigate. It's interesting stuff. So and th this is this is a bizarre one guys if you're if you're not new to this then we speak about the scaling the makeup the how these images are put together and um, this one has boggled me a little bit so there's a few things I'm going to show you in regards to so I do suggest pausing and just trying to take the image in and uh, let's go back this this is how the image comes in I think Oh no, I have enlarged it, you can see down the bottom 1.3, but it comes in about 40 meg or something like that. So if you don't use imaging software and uh, enlarge this stuff, you're not going to see anything. Now the weird thing about this asteroid, apparently it's only, <coughs> excuse me, 490 meters in excuse um diameter which is so this is about 980 3200 feet across and the reason i was talking about scaling is um because it, it just gets weirder and weirder as i will explain so hold on I've got some more information yes we have some more information just have a read of this sort of thing um, and the the aim of uh, this this mission is just to you know find out the origins of our universe creation that type of sort of stuff um, and you can see down here uh, there's so much information on this tiny little uh, asteroid um, they spent about a billion dollars uh, going to get a sample here we go here's the little thing that's going to fly off um, and get the sample and fly back to Earth. it's on its way back it'll be back next year and it's quite a lump it's big okay have we seen here's some more information bits and bobs um, just to sort of help you along your way. It's quite a NASA's Planetary Defense Coordination Office. That's interesting. We'll look into that at a later date. So, scaling. And I was a bit, you know, is this the actual, the whole thing? So what I did, I got a crop of each, each end and put them together and yes it is the whole it does wrap and it does join together as you can see a faint line through there scaling slightly off 
on the right side but you can see how it, how it joins together so I was like okay so we've got the the meters and feet sorted out okay right so I just quickly just split this up it's very vague um, so this is 490 meters half it half, half and that goes down to this distance here is about 30 meters still um, a little bit miffed with um, some other things I'm going to point out these craters um, with the circles around them and they're not circles um, they're very difficult to make out I should have shown you a full image of uh, let's let's go this will take as long as it takes okay uh, here we go let's just have a quick look at that this is it and apparently it's not very big but we will be having a look at these images as well I've got a couple more that we're going to have a look at because it's very weird and I'm talking about the scaling again so okay so this from here to here is 490 meters so I went on to Google and had a look Gave you something familiar, which is the Houses of Parliament. I still live just up the road from here. So this scaling at 300 meters, right? Okay. So that would fit to about here, right? Okie doke. So bear that in mind. Okay, let's have a look at the enhanced version and like I say will there's a low quality it does come out quite pixelated even though I've enlarged it um, hugely and it's um, it's down down to you it's difficult to say but it's down to you to sort of decipher this stuff I can't tell you it's um, it's very strange I'm not convinced with the scaling on this um, but then again I mean we have spoken and other other channels have spoken about like some of this stuff especially on surface features of um, Mars that this stuff looks miniature like smaller you know is there um, a race of small beings dare, dare I say it I don't know I mean I can only relate what I'm finding to the information that they give me and in relation to everything else that we've looked at um, so this is a bit of a crazy one so bear with it or bear with me So as always, pause and check it out and the, the relationship between all the other stuff, the way stuff is joined up, the platforms, there are small towers and things everywhere. Um, and I should really try and point these out, but it's it's difficult. My, my eye now is so used to seeing this stuff and it's not a case of... Um, me seeing things or wanting to see what I see I'm purely giving you what the image is giving me nothing is laid down onto the image as you all know or don't know so just take your time um, and if you are interested enough have a look at the other videos especially the earlier ones which we investigate this and you can see me doing the research in action so um, I am seeing here structural familiar structural formations so i'll try and get through this as quickly as possible and there's some other things in this image which came to light after me just thinking about um you know they know every they talk about you know the amount of boulders that are on this and the size of the boulders and and it's they know so much about this there's a 
huge amount of interest in such a tiny little place which I'm sure will be extremely hard to navigate to get to um, I don't know I'm not an um, astrophysicist and I find it all a bit boggling and if you are new to this then you're probably thinking oh well it's just the bit it's just the pixelation um, so on and so forth um, it's not uh, it doesn't happen across the whole image um, pixel anomalies do not create shadows um, and highlights um, and you can and if you look closely enough you will see the uh, three dimensions of this stuff see look I've started I've started uh, doing it but, um, just bear with me this is a crazy one so remember the size of parliament and it fits onto nearly half of this thing. So you can see the structural layouts here, which we're familiar with. These are the scaling bars, they're only rough, but this is apparently about 30 meters, 60 meters. It's quite interesting looking at where the, where the arrows are pointing as well, and there's something about they use a drop shadow on these fonts um, which is purely a, a filter type sort of thing which puts a, a shadow behind stuff just to make it stick out we'll have a closer look at that in a bit so you can see on these uh, cylindrical maps how the the top is stretched very much uh, stretched obviously because it is uh, would be a curve Okay, so when I was trying to get my head around this this map, um, because it this apparently is so small, um, and if you look at the original image, um, the to actually see any craters, it doesn't really tell you that there are any craters it doesn't look like there are any craters and this area the Talua Regio is like um, so how do they decide what an area and there, and there, and there must be a reason for there being an area there must be some interest in it. So I started having a closer look. As you can see, this crater, and I was wondering why is the, why is that crater uh, oval, and then there's a little little one in it, tiny little crater within a crater. So let's have a closer look. doesn't look like there's much going on so I just thought it looked a bit weird around here and this is stuff you've got to look for um, so what it ended up looking like is that these um, 
cutout lines, dot lines, marker lines, um, but actually there are anomalies around them which actually follow the shape and in some cases they're actually attached you can see where they're attached to these other shapes, structures, we'll call them remember the scale though, remember the scale, this is a really unusual where the the point of is it something miniature or is the asteroid a hell of a lot bigger than they're telling us you look at the layout of stuff Now a lot of you might not be able to make a lot of sense of this, but it's something that comes with time. So, see the center. So after enhancing the center, I found this. And uh, it looks like a, some sort of dome of some description. at these cut lines see I believe in some not all that these are actually something which is on the surface or part of Com crater look completely pointing to this dome type structure here's a familiar platform Something on top of the shadow. There's another one here. This is the top. You can see the shadow. Like I said before, I find these very difficult to explain um, because there is so much going on. And, you know, due to the low quality of this, um, It's difficult, I have to leave it down to the viewer. I'm not willing to tell you what the thing is because I haven't I have I don't know what it is. Okay, while we're at it, we'll just go back to this one. And um, we spoke about the the structural formations around this following it's following you can see you can see it follows so I thought I'd have a look at this area and it does the same yes it's low quality There are parts that are attached. Now you could say you could put that down to you know low quality and stuff, but it continues. It happens everywhere. Now, if you saw on part three of um, the Mars one that I did, the last one that I put out. And we were talking about the surface and actually what it is. Is this something similar? Are these actually buildings or is it some sort of uh, life on its own? I mean, I, I don't know. 
It's a bewildering one, I told you. It would be. So you can see how these things outside the marker line So this marker line is covering, or is something, or part of something. And here as well. I mean, this could be the drop shadow. You see the drop shadow around it? But it looks like it's going in too. Now this could be just me misinterpreting it. Um, but because of the amount of structures around it, um, it looks like a, an entrance or an opening. If you are new and you are trying to familiarise yourself with this, then, like I say, sorry to repeat myself, guys, but it's just the way. Look at the other videos and it will start making more sense to you. So, okay, let's go to the top. And this is something familiar straight away. You're not initially going to see it straight off, but we can see these um, platform raise type areas. It's a familiar constructed layout which we're looking at here. I've noticed in this image there's lots and lots of little towers everywhere. I'll just point that out for you. Yeah. The platform area. There's one, two, three. Probably thinking I'm mental. There's another area here. Now, if you're new to this, you'll probably say, well, what is it? Well, what is it? You know, tell me what it is. And I can't, I do, if I tell you what it is, or what I think it is, well, I do. I'm saying that they're structures. Uh, and you have to work the layout for yourself. You can see it. It takes time. But if I just tell you what it is, then um, it's what people want to hear. They want to be told what is going on here. So as far as I can or can't work out with this image is that it looks in relation to the scaling of these structural looking anomalies to be a lot bigger than they're saying it is. Or this stuff is actually this small.
see it, it's in like a little opening. So you must tell me what you think about this one. It's 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 boggled me, seriously boggled me. I haven't even had a look at that one. and the shape of these you can see the low quality coming through there but they're all inconsistent when you look at the arrows they're consistent these structures sticking up or whatever they are you can see the tops you can see the shadows the three dimensions of it it's not an easy image <clears throat> to decipher So this is apparently 30 meters or around 30 meters. We're in the center of the image now, so we're a bit more above the structures, but you can still see the tops and the shadows. And it's structural layout.
one of the comments um, I had, this guy, and no disrespect, he was absolutely right what he was saying, the angle he was saying it at, though, I, I don't know, that uh, maybe he should go back to grade school, and uh, I totally agree. It's the whole relearning, rethinking of everything. And, uh, you know, I said, you know, you can't just watch one video and expect to get the answers from a title which I have to put on a YouTube video to get the answers. You know, the people out there with hundreds and hundreds of videos. And they still don't know the answers. Well, they think they know some answers. But um, a lot of it is very laughable. Um, and if the video does seem vague, then it is vague. I have to be. So, I hope you got something from that, and it made some sort of sense. Um, the stuff is here, I don't understand the scaling, and uh, dude, tell me what you think about this one. There's, uh, there are some of you out there who are clued up, and uh, have interest, and are doing this, so uh, get in touch. Okay. I think I'm going to leave it at that. Like I say, I've got two more images of this place coming up. And uh, they're equally as revealing and bizarre. So um, we're going to put this one down to the brain explosion scenario. So, okay, guys, cheers. Thank you. And I'll see you again soon.